Rain and tears. The race to the sun, as they say in France, was certainly wet today on stage two. But the tears were tears of joy, and the joy was for Sonny Cobrelli. The 26-year-old Italian handled the echelon well before surprising everyone when he launched a sprint in the streets of Amélie and resisted Demar and Degenkolb to take his greatest career win so far. The man from Lombardy offers his young team Bahrain Merida a first major success. The 75th Paris-Nice race leaves the participants no time to breathe. After an exhausting stage yesterday, the wind and the rain are back for this long trek through the bows towards Amélie. With equal weather conditions, today's stage should be as spectacular as the opening yesterday. With the crosswind blowing from behind, the pack soon forms an echelon and the average speed on the first two hours is close to 50 km an hour. After the initial chaos, five men will remain in the lead 60 km before arrival. Amongst them the local Tony Galopin and the former world champion Philippe Gilbert. But the sprinters, deprived of an announced showdown yesterday at Bois d'Arcy, have no intention of letting this stage go and their teammates make sure the gap doesn't grow above one minute. The pressure of the pack leads the Belgian champion to attack his fellow escapees 20 km from the finish line. Gilbert has never taken a stage on this classic race, and even though he gives it all, he will have to wait for a bit longer. Seven kilometers before the finish line, he is reeled in by the pack. A sprint finish seems certain, but without the Frenchman Nasser Bouani, who has given up a few kilometers before. Team Française des Jeux launches the sprint for their leader Demar. But just like John Degenkolb, the yellow jersey will not manage to pass outsider Sonny Cobrelli who resists the bunch and takes a first major career win. The stage was very difficult right from the start. It was very hard, with numerous echelons, but at the end the pack was pretty tight and I launched a big sprint. I took off before the others did, and I was sure they were going to leave me behind on the final meters, so I just hung in there. I'm really happy this is my first success on a major race since I've become a professional. Trapped on Sunday, Degenkolb has to settle for second place today. Right ahead of the yellow jersey Arnaud Demar. The Australian Richie Port finishes on rank 103, almost 15 minutes behind the stage winner and loses all hope to arrive at Nice victorious. In the overall ranking, the bonification points allow Demar to secure his lead and distance Alaphilippe by two more seconds. The best placed of the favourites is Sergio Henao on rank 8. On Tuesday, the pack will head further south to chalon sur saône The weather should show some mercy, but the track will increase in difficulty. The ascent of the Côte de Charessé a second category difficulty 25 kilometers before the finish line will certainly keep things exciting. <laughs>